Yeah, I'm sucking nuts because I can only. Round of scrabble. Let's nuts. go, boys. Four. Round of four. Round of four. Stop. Why? Because you're fucking. JRB is correct. He's gonna isolate the fish, right? Uh huh. With with uh, Ace King or Aces. It was a fantastic uh, rant by JRB Rob. The the biggest winner. But it's time to move yeah, on. A whale was a big, big a, a whale was I'm a big just, thing. Get back to gambling. I've got a reputation as a good player. Rob Young has confirmed the I'm title. I'm not seeing what you like when you don't hit. We are playing a pretty big game today. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000 at Hustler Casino Live in this hand. It folds around to Nick Airball in the big blind with Queen of Hearts, Four of Diamonds. He opts to limp. JRB, John Robert Blonde, he's been around forever playing the high stakes games. He makes it $12,000. Three big blinds with the Ace King playing $1 million deep, about 250 big blinds only. Nick Airball decides to call the queen for offsuit. Probably okay just to fold, but whatever. Nick Airball likes to play airballs. Let's head to the flop. So I can't say you're a, good, a, a great player. Yeah, I mean, you well, can yeah. go back and watch the stream. <laughs> Oh, he just loses. Good, no. But he doesn't hit. He just loses. Well, you are. Okay. Just you, you need to ask yourself the question. Win. Why am I thinking about folding that hand, right? I mean, I must think you. Not I mean, I guess you I just don't have think it, no I don't think it. Airball, check raising, queen enough, four offsuit. There's no chance you'd ever see On jack on ten, deuce. The flop ever... comes. Jack of diamonds, ten of diamonds, two of hearts. JRB has the best gut shot straight draw with two overcards. Nick Airball has one overcard and a. Back door for a high flush draw. He checks the JRB, who bets $10,000. Nick Airball, pretty casually, makes it 30. Why not? He's looking for a queen. Well, actually, he's not looking for a queen. JRB, in position. With the super nut draw to Broadway. Ops to call and wants to go dancing. Hmm. Let's head to the turn. Consider folding that hand to me. Okay. Cannot win with a queen, could win with a four or a nine. I have to ask myself the question. He would never put it, put it in with kings against quad threes, ever. He just flat calls. I think it's really hard for me to have a lot there. 167 in the middle. Neither player has a pair. The turn is the eight of hearts, which is an okay card for Nick. At least now he has a gut shot. He opts to go 40000 into the $87,000 pot, and JRB pretty casually calls. You may be surprised to see this call with only ace high on the Jack-10-2-8 board, but this is a situation where you got to realize Nick Airball is going to be over-bluffing a lot of the time, at least compared to the vast majority of players. And this is a situation where JRB beats the vast majority of draws because the logical draws here are going to be flush draws. So I think JRB will be able to play reasonably on some rivers where I actually find some bluff catches with ace high. Like say the river is a 10 or an eight or a two, maybe even a jack, maybe a three, maybe a four. These are spots where ace high can very reasonably hero call if you think your opponent is going to play the vast majority of their draws overly aggressively. And especially if you think your opponent's gonna be check raising the queen four off suit on the flop. So, I think this is a pretty reasonable call. Worst case, you have some outs to the nuts or top pair that you're not really going to try to fold. And every once in a while, you get to hero call. So, JRB does call. Let's head to the river. I asked myself the question. They might Until have now, JRB. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit yeah, different, you know? Yeah, but in that, in that exact spot... Top I pair, top kicker. Uh-oh. 200K going over to the five seat. I, 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 I think I would. I'm not lying. I'm not being funny. Nick representing a backdoor flush. JRB blocks the nut flush. This is a punt. Can JRB field it? The river is the king of hearts. The backdoor flush comes in, but JRB has the ace of hearts blocker. Nick Airball does not care. He has the queen of hearts blocker. And he puts in $200,000 into the $167,000 pot. Let's see what JRB does. I got Rick 
song is screaming in my ear. Call, call, call. Is that a call? <laughs> it's not a call. I haven't called yet. I'm not going to raise you. I know that. Show your hand then. Us. Maybe let them finish this one. This is torture What's the other one? for Nick Arabal. Part of me is like, I just should have just raised right, right away what he bet. And then the other part of me is like, oh, well, you know, if he has a smaller flush, then he's probably going to call me if I raise. So, but he raised me on the flop. And then the turn, so he could have had queen nine on the turn. He could have queen nine on the turn, but when I call on the turn, I could easily have a flush draw, and he's not even a little bit scared of the flush. Huh. And then he like, over bet the pot. Oh my God, this doesn't make sense. Because you have the ace of hearts, it does not make it sense. It doesn't make sense. And when it doesn't make sense. You're not even a little bit concerned that I hit a flush. You put in the call. Mm. Nick Airball, unlucky that JRB has that ace of hearts. However, it still might work. <sighs> maybe seven, eight of diamonds, maybe. Sorry, guys. I think he deserved to be paid off. Air I know, even if I'm wrong, Rick, Rick would be happy for me to call, even if I'm wrong. I know that. Sick hearing this. And he'd be really pissed if Lauren. I pulled. Clock. Airball calls the clock. Desperation move. To try and level JRB into folding. Hopefully the editor just fast forwarded through some of this tanking because JRB tanked for five minutes before Nick Airball called the clock on him. What I want to know, while we have to wait another minute, is how long do you wait in a cash game in a big pot before you call the clock on a player? Do you call it after one minute, two minutes, five minutes, or will you never call the clock? Take a second. Take a whole minute if you want. And let me know what you would do or what you do do in the comment section below. Typically, when players call the clock on you, they want you to call. Nick knows that, JRB knows that. He's screaming at the TV right now, I promise you. I personally am pretty slow to call the clock in gigantic pots, assuming the player who is taking their time doesn't take a whole lot of time in general. If someone is taking a ton of time all the time, they're in a big pot or just in general, you need to call the clock and get the game moving. You should not be offended if someone calls the clock on you, if you are a very slow player. Because look, we came here to play poker. We did not come here to look at you take five minutes every time you have any sort of decision. Uh, JRB is not a particularly slow player, so I just would not call the clock on him unless it was a pretty large amount of time. And to be fair, five minutes is a pretty good amount of time. He's still tanking. Let's see what he finally does. I think JRB would have called. Plus, the bet size is like you don't want to be paid off. I should do what, uh, what his name does. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Randomize. Randomize it. Yeah. The randomizer says I have to pay off. How many seconds? Hands dead. Wow. Nick 
air ball gets it through. You guys all are playing tight. Let's play, let's gamble. Come on, Jeremy, call. Rick's screaming at you. Wow. Listen to your boss, call. After much deliberation, JRB somehow finds a fold. His boss is going to be mad at him. But we're all going to be happy because it makes for good content. Nick Airball somehow gets an absolute airball, a diaper bluff through, and he crushes JRB's soul this time. That's going to be it for today. If you want another fun hand featuring a master blaster Eric person, I have that one lined up next for you. Make sure before you leave, Go down there, click the like and subscribe button. Click the notification bell. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck in your games. Have fun. And when you're against a Master Blaster, erase the fold button.